What's up, Yugi Universe? It's Julian here. And today, guys, we are doing a Shadal Showdown structure deck opening. You know, Salamangrate was one of the best structure decks I'd seen in a long time prior to Dino Smashers. And I really feel that this is the next big thing. And you can be really competitive with three of these. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to go ahead and open it. Um, as always, guys, remember to subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Instagram. We're still doing our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure to tune into that. And we are climbing. Thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers. And if you've already been with me since the start, I really appreciate each and every one of you. And it's only going to get that much greater, guys. All right, Yu-Gi-Oh! Universe, let's tear this open. I'm excited for some new alternate artwork. So let's see what we got in here. Sorry, lift that box open. Uh, I got a little strategy guide here, teach you some combos and stuff, but don't worry. I got some great combos coming out for you guys. There's our pack. Got a nice little mat. Speaking of play mats, what do you guys think of Mr. Cosmo Kramer? This has been to a couple regionals. <laughs> Gotta love me some Seinfeld. Who's a fan of Seinfeld? Let me know in the comment section below. I've always loved Seinfeld. I always like the artwork they put on these uh, custom looking pa paper mats, if you will. There's some of the new custom artwork with Construct and Shikanaga. There's a bunch of different combos, but like I said, I've got some cool ones coming out. I love how they have Gizmo Kaku, Cross Sheep. And Lightning Storm, you guys know all about those because we opened a case on the channel. And if you haven't checked that out, be sure to put a link for you. All right, now let's open this baby up. Got a Dual Links promo right there. All right, let's get that in frame for you guys. Looks like a reprint of El Shadal Grista. Um, it's definitely good against Salamangrate. I think this was a secret originally. Yep. All right. Nice. Then we got El Shadal Apcolone. Is that what that is? Yeah, El Shadal Apcolone. This is the all new uh, Shadal Fusion. Let me read that out for you guys. Must first be two Shadal monsters with different attributes, which with the new support now. They're pretty much all like that. Must first be fusion summon, cannot be destroyed by battle. You can only use each of the following effects of El Shaddaa Apicolone once per turn. Apicolone, am I saying that right? Let me know how you guys would pronounce it. If this card is special summoned, you can target one face-up card on the field, negate its effects. Also, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Shaddaa card from your deck or graveyard to your hand, then discard one card. So it doesn't say it's once per turn, so that's really cool. I think the cool thing about it is that it cannot be destroyed by battle. Look at that artwork. Look how gorgeous that is. Wow. I love it. But yeah, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, and on summon, it negates an effect when sent to grave at a monster, but you have to discard one. That's awesome. Love that card. And there's the new artwork for Construct. I love this new art. I think it looks so cool. Um, what do you think, Yugi Universe? Which artwork do you prefer on this card? I mean, Construct is just so stacked with effects. You know, when it's summoned, you can Foolish Burial any Shadal card from your deck to Graveyard. And then when it battles any special summoned monster, they're destroyed. And then when it's sent to the Graveyard, yeah, there's more. <laughs> it's just the card that keeps on giving. And then when it's sent to the Graveyard, you can add a Spell or Trap to your hand. And that... It's not once per turn. This deck can be really explosive, guys. We're going to do a uh, $30 budget deck and then a I have a special smash up one for you guys. So if you guys want to see it, make sure to hit the like button and let me know below. Most of all, make sure to subscribe. All right, this is an older Shadal card. I've never really been a fan of this one. Didn't play it back in the day. Um, I even played it back when it was Skull Servant Shadal, actually. 
So this is the all new Wendy, Risha doll Wendy. Let me read it out to you guys. Flip, you can special summon one Shadal monster from your deck and face up or face down position, except we should all windy. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon one Shadal monster from your deck and face down defense position, except we should all windy. You can only use one we should all windy effect per turn, per turn and only once that turn. So basically, um, this is a turbo combo starter is how I would look at it. It searches, and when it hits the graveyard, you can special summon a Shadal from your deck. Wow. This is insane. Alright, next card. We got another new Shadal. Nail Shadal Ariel. And it's obviously a different attribute. This one is a water. And then when it's flipped, actually let's read it. Flip. You can target one of your banished Shadal monsters, special summon in face up or face down position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target up to three cards in the graveyard, banish them. Wow. You can only use one nail Shadal aerial effect per turn and only once that turn. So basically what this makes me think of is first and foremost, it's like a DD Crow in a sense. The banishing aspect you can banish three cards from either graveyard. And that's, that's just amazing. Um, and then when it's flipped, target a banished card. So basically you can hand loop this with um, Construct and it brings back the banished uh, Construct to the field. Very cool. And then this is the all new trap, um, Rush Shadal Incarnation. Check out that artwork. Let me read this for you guys. Target one Shadal monster in your graveyard Special Summit in face up or face down defense position. You can banish this card and one Shadal card from your graveyard. Then activate one of these effects. Change one face down monster you control to face down defense position. And then also change one face up monster you control to face down defense position. You can only use one Rest Shadal incarnation effect per turn and only once per turn. So that is freaking, I think that is really good. That is really, really good. There's a combo I'm going to showcase in the budget profile. Let's get those likes up. Let's get the subscribers up so I can showcase that. Let me know if you want to see the budget version with a three structure decks, $30 structure decks, or if you want to see a um, competitive version. They'll both be competitive, actually, but you want to see the budget or the non-budget first. That's really cool. Basically, it's a reborn for the deck. Second effect is you can banish it from the graveyard for with Shadal, and then, you know, Loop them into face down or face up. So I love that card. And then there is the new artwork for Winda. I, you know, I'm, I'm torn on this one because I love the old art, but like, like the new one as well. You can see Winda more where in the past she was writing on the top. What do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? Yugi Universe. Let me know which you prefer down below. And basically, Windows is just like your floodgate for the deck that allows only one special summon and locks your appointment out for that turn. Love Winda. And then we have Shikanaga, El Shadal Shikanaga. Um, it's your monster negator. And then there is a reprinted Shadal Fusion. That is awesome value. That alone is, man. It's basically for sending materials from your deck to the graveyard. It's your starter of the deck. And then you got Falco. He reborns the monsters or himself. The new trap card, Turbo, a lot easier. So I'll showcase that. And then we have Hedgehog. Hedgehog is the searcher of the deck. You flip it to add Shadal Fusion or it's sent by card effect, add a monster. Pretty good. Then you got Shadal Skamata. This one for me is um, the Foolish Burial of the Bunch. Uh, it sends cards at will to the grave. <laughs> Great card. And then we got Dragon. It's a back row popper. And then its flip effect is Compulsive Monster back to the hand. So that's really neat. 
and I didn't uh, mention it prior, but you know, should all, all have two effects, it's one flip effect and then one effect that activates when it's in the graveyard. So there's Beast, and then what Beast does is it gives you an extra draw. And, this out. and then Hound, I never really used Hound too much. And then there's a reprint there. Shadal Zephyrnega, Shadal Zephyrcore. Oh, wow. You got a BLS common, and this card is definitely up in value. So, I mean, BLS is just wow. What a value. What a boss monster. Hit that like button if you love Black Lesser Soldier as much as I do. You got Lava Golem. The way the meta is stacked right now, Lava Golem is phenomenal. Basically helps you, you know, break boards. Dark Arm Dragon, another staple. Look at the value here. Look at all these reprints. This is definitely, thank you, Konami. Thank you. This is how structured decks should be. Not like the days of Yugi and Joey and Pegasus. I mean, those were fun in the GOAT format, obviously. That's when I started playing. But these decks are really competitive. So there's value there. Fairy Tale Sleeper. Uh, not sure why that one's in there. Trick Clown. Now this one I like. This one I really like because, and if you're not familiar with him, you know, he can basically be sent to the graveyard by Mathematician, who I know is in here, and then basically loop him back for a thousand life points. He's a light, so with that it allows you to get Construct. So there's another little loop. You got Armageddon Knight. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just a dark monster, Foolish Burial. Basically any shit all. They're all dark. Uh, Light Sworn. It's kind of nostalgic. And then you got a reprint of Electromagnetic Turtle, which I think only came in a secret. Let me know below. I, I believe it was a secret, yeah. Then Mathematician, self-explanatory. He's a combo starter. Curry Bandit. It's so nostalgic. So nostalgic. <laughs> There's all so much value. Wow, Pero Pero Cerebrus. I haven't seen this guy since uh, Return of the Bling. I think I still have it somewhere. i to find it. This card is actually really good because uh, you can just dump it to the graveyard. Actually, I'll just read the effect so you guys can see it. If you take damage by a battle or an opponent's card effect, while this card's in the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one card on the field and destroy it. So that's strong. That is strong. Definitely going to put him in the build. Shadow Prison. That's the Shadal spell card, in case you didn't know they had one. And then over here, El Shadal Fusion. Really, really good card. The nice thing about it, it's a quick effect, so you can play to Construct and OTK, basically. Go Construct, Construct, and then OTK. Uh, Shadal Fusion. Super Poly. Now this one, wow. This I really, really like because the comment, the, the commas alone, I think were five, seven bucks. So this definitely helps so much value for a budget. So, so good as a common. I love seeing that. Thank you, Konami. Instant Fusion, another great reprint, another great common. You got Allure of Darkness. I mean, wow. It's a hand recycler and banishing is not going to matter because of Ariel. So you can just loop them out. Foolish Burial. Self-explanatory. Dump a Shadal in the Grave. Living Fossil. Value right there. Reprinted Pot of Avarice. <laughs> wow. So Twin Twisters. Thank you, Konami. I cannot underemphasize. I came at a time when you did not get these kind of decks. And Konami, we really appreciate it. I'm sure... New and old players definitely love it. They make it, if you're just getting back into the game or new to the game, this, so much value. Twin Twister is a staple in every deck, basically. Should all call. It lets you retrieve. Once it's destroyed, it lets you retrieve it from the graveyard with Construct. Good card. Sinister Shadow Games. Pura Shadal Aeon. Lost Wind, another great reprint. I think this was in Maximum Crisis. What was it before Maximum Crisis? Can't remember. Let me know below. Unending Nightmare. 
That I know was in Maximum Crisis. So much value. Necrofusion. Subterror Succession. El Shadal Windigo. El Shadal Ioniotis. Shadal Construct. And a Dual Links card. That's a promo card. But, man, the value alone in the reprints is phenomenal. I mean, Unending Nightmare, Lost Wind, Twin Twisters, Pot of Avarice, Living Fossil, Foolish Burial, Allure, Instant Fusion, Super Poly. I could just keep going. Mathematician. Thank you, Konami. Dark Arm Dragon, Lava Golem, BLS. Wow. This is awesome. I really am excited to see this. That's it, Yugi Universe. What do you guys think of the new Shadal structure decks? Let me know. Peace.